Hi everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to make this little bow. Um, I am going to be showing you later how to make the zebra. So I do hope that you like it. But right now I'm just going to show you to make the bow. You can make any color that you would like. I had a blue one somewhere here. So you can make a little boy and a girl. So to do this, you're going to need 25, approximately 25 bands. I think I counted right. Um, I'm going to use my loom. So grab your loom and your hook. And I'm going to get started. The first thing that we're going to do is do six stitches in the magic ring. For our magic ring, I'm going to use a total of eight bands. This one is just going to be a slip knot to tie it off. You're going to take one rubber band, you're going to turn your loom upside down, and we're going to use the bottom peg. So grab one band and wrap it around three times. One, two, three. With your hook, we're going to bring each one of these bands through. So go with your hook, grab the band and bring it through on your hook as if you're doing a slip knot and bring this band over and bring it to the side. Go back in, our second rubber band and bring it through. Bring the other end on your hook and bring these two bands over. Bring it to the side. Go back in, our third rubber band and bring it through on your hook and bring these two bands over. Bring it to the side. Go back in for your fourth, bring it through on your hook and bring these two bands over. Our fifth, bring it through on your hook and bring these two bands over. Bring it to the side. Go back in for your sixth, bring it through on your hook, two bands over. And you want to remove off your loom. You should have six stitches. You just want to move your bands around so that they're nice and neat. One, two, three, four, five, and the one on your hook is six. What we're going to do is go in our first stitches, our first stitch, and bring a single band through all of the loops that are on your hook and do a slip knot. Give it a tug and just put it flat down. We're going to repeat. We're going to make another one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bottom part of our loom, take a single rubber band and wrap it around three times. One, two, and three. You want to reach in. Grab one band and bring it through. So you're going to bring six bands through again. Go back in for your second, on your hook, two loops over and bring it to the side. Go back in, grab another band, bring it through, two loops over, bring it to the side. Our next loop, two bands over, bring it to the side. And our fifth band, bring it through, two bands over, and our sixth, bring it through, on your hook, two bands over, and remove off the loom. Again, you want to fix the bands up so that they're nice and even, and you should have six. One, two, three, four, five, and six is on your hook. We're going to bring a single band through again, so go through your first stitch. You're going to do a slip knot, bring it through all of the bands that are on your hook, grab the other end, and tie it off. Now take this, and you want to turn upside down on top so that your curls are together. You're going to grab a single rubber band, and you're going to bring it through both of the circles. So with your hook, go through one, go through the other, and bring a single band through. One and two. Grab the end and you can leave it on your hook and just put to the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use our loom. So we want to go with the arrows facing down and we're going to go down the loom seven times with a single rubber band. So grab one, 
from the top. We're just using the middle. It doesn't really matter. We're just going seven times down. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Now you're going to grab your magic circles with your hook here and we're going to slide these two rubber bands on the end. So you just want to open it up and slide on. Now with the top rubber band on the magic ring, I'm just going to lift up and I'm going to turn it. And I'm just going to twist it. So just to show you again, that's what it looked like. I'm going to open it up, grab that top rubber band, and turn it. Now I'm just going to loop straight up. So I'm going to reach in and grab this bottom band and loop up. Going to the top. And now with a single rubber band, we're going to do a slip knot. But I'm going to bring this magic circle, this loop right here, and I'm going to place it on the top peg. So I'm just going to push it down a little bit, remove some of the loops here. And I'm just going to place the top loop, making sure that I'm getting both of them here, right on the top. Grab your single band, and you're going to do a slip knot. So reach in, grabbing the end, and bring it through on your hook, and do a slip knot. When you're tying it off, you want to make sure that you're at the top, and you can remove off the loom. Now this slip knot that we tied, what we're going to do is wrap it three times around the center of our magic circle. So open it up, one, Two. I hope you can see, and three. This is what it looks like. Now all I'm going to do is hide the slip knots that are on our magic ring. So I'm just going to turn it around. I'm in the back now. And I'm going to take this slip knot and go bring it through these little loops here. So with my hook, Bring in the slip knot through one. I'm probably going to have to go through three, two, and three. I can go through any of these loops right here just to hide it. And that should be fine. I'm just going to do the other one. One, two, I might have to do some more, you may not have to, so just you just want to just hide it. And that was simple. Now, once you have your zebra, you can place it around the neck. You just want to fix the tension, that's it. Bring it towards the bow. And it's done. I hope you enjoyed uh, Looming with Cheryl. Um, I have a lot more designs to load, so please subscribe down below, and I'll see you soon with the zebra. Bye for now.